Hello, it's Hallie. So I wanted to um, send this video to you really fast. Um, not really fast, but fast for me because I just got inspired to send it to you. And it's I just wanted to share with you a practice that really helps me ground myself when I am stressed out and really bring myself back to a centered spot. And I'm gonna walk you through, I'm also um, going to print out, or not print out, I'm going to print the steps to it. So, but I know sometimes when you're doing this, you might not be able to read because it does include like visualizing. Um, this is something that has really helped me. As I've mentioned in a few of my last correspondences with you or emails, um, in the last three, four years, four years, I've lost both my parents and my brother, my older brother. And <laughs> to put it lightly, it's been a really tough couple years. And this is something that has really gotten me through that. Um, it got me through my divorce years ago. It gets me through some really, really tough times. And I, I use it constantly. Um, and so I want to share it with you because as I've said in my email, I know the next few days um, could be stressful or will be stressful. I mean, granted, however the uh, outcome goes, 50% of people listening probably not be happy. So um, I call this the serenity shield and it is a visualization to help guide you to find your calm. So the first step is to find a space that you can sit comfortably in, a quiet space where you know you won't be disturbed. You deserve that spot. So close your eyes and then take three deep cleansing breaths, letting each exhale just release a bit of tension. Really feel your body from the neck down. Pay attention to your body. Then ground yourself. Just visualize yourself, your feet connected to the earth, um, like you've got deep roots just anchoring you in. And just feel that sense of stability and support beneath you. Maybe you're sitting in a chair. I'm sitting in a chair right now and I'll often just really feel the chair underneath my butt. Um, the third is expand your presence. The third step. So really picture yourself as you are right now, but then slowly begin to imagine yourself growing larger, like a big giraffe or something, um, really tall. I mean, you can even envision yourself climbing up a ladder, getting really high up, um, and then just ex having your presence just extend beyond your immediate surroundings. I've heard this called the balcony, maybe. You're up on a balcony. Maybe you're in a beautiful theater get up on the top balcony and you're just reaching out across the room and you can just see beyond. You're up in a tree, a big tree house, whatever you want to visualize, whatever comes, whatever feels familiar and believable. And then focus on your problems. So for this exercise, we're thinking about the election and politics and all the junk going on. Just as an aside, I have a background in media. I've worked in the newsroom and I also, as you know, am a life coach. So I have, and I have, um, first-hand experience when I was young, my dad was a state senator. So I've got the gamut. I get how the media plays us and I get politics. And I also know how to help you calm your nerves and not let this get to you. So start, sorry for that little um, sidebar, but as you're visualizing, you're up in this balcony, you're up in your tree house, really start shifting your attention to your worries and fears and everything and see your problems shrink visualize them getting smaller and smaller, like tiny little pebbles, clouds, teeny, teeny, tiny, teeny, tiny. You're taking power over them. You are taking your power back. And then affirm to yourself, um, I offer you this mantra. I am bigger than my worries. I am steady. I am strong. And I am in control. So then embrace the calm. Just really sit with that vis visualization for a few moments, just really feel it. Even as I'm explaining it, it just brings your power back. Just soak in that um, peace and the understanding that you have control over how much space you're gonna give to that anxiety. And then slowly bring yourself back to the present. This doesn't have to take a long time. It can take as long as this video is taking and it really will bring you back in. You might have to do it 10 times today or the next over the next few days. That's okay. Um, I'd love to hear what you think. I hope this is helpful and I really appreciate you being here. Thanks so much. I'll, and if it is helpful, I will send more. So let me know. Give me feedback. If it's not, let me know that too. Um, we'll find something that works for you. Okay. Thanks so much.